Hey guys, this is Sandra of the Alexandrite System. Happy New Year. It's been a little bit. Anyone else have kind of a weird year? Because we, we did. We did. That's right, I'm sitting here in my promotional Daddy's Home 2 <laughs> long sleeve tee. And that can only mean one thing. It is time for our yearly wrap up video. Honestly, this shirt just gets funnier every year. When is, when does anyone think about Daddy's Home 2 except for when I'm wearing this shirt? <laughs> I'm sure all the Sully Sullenberg fans out there are like, I remember, <laughs> I remember Daddy's Home 2. <laughs> My boy was at the end of it. So this year was kind of a shakeup for the Alexanderites in a different way than last year was. Last year was a very like tumultuous time where everything got like torn down and we had to like start rebuilding. This year we went through a lot of the process of rebuilding and really trying to like better ourselves. One big thing is that we had another kind of host change. Camilla was our host for a lot of 2021, but early in 2022 there was a power shift in a way, not in like a a fighting kind of thing, but more in just a way the brain naturally shifted and Claudia started fronting the most. And honestly, 2022 was like the year of Claudia. I mean, let's just go through her achievements. She's been learning violin since April, so about nine months now, and she's gotten uh, pretty good. If I do say so myself, it's better than I can do. Come here. And this young man, Ulf, is being put on a diet. The vet says he's obese. <laughs> His special boy food is a lot higher in calories than we thought. I don't think he's that big though. She's been getting a lot of joy out of doing that. I'll put a clip of her playing something here. She also started a podcast with friend of the show, Nicole. They read and rank romance novels together. And that show actually got accepted to a podcast network that we're a big fan of, or we were a big fan of, still are a big fan of, but now we're a part of it. So there's kind of a nebulous <laughs> kind of thing there. But she's made a lot of friends that way, a lot of friends who see her as like the person, you know, and it's been really fun for her to have that as an outlet as well. She also did a lot of work being more open and honest and communicative in all of her relationships and really trying to make all of her relationships as best as they can be, which I really admire. Susan also had a year of making a name for herself out in public. She started playing Magic the Gathering again, but she started playing it in person at a uh, card shop in town and she made some friends doing it and had a lot of fun doing it. Once again, she knows people now who like see her as the person. That's something I always find fascinating, how we can meet two different people and those two people can look at this body and think a completely different name. If worlds collide though, you gotta start explaining stuff, which, yeah. Susan has also gotten really, really into her Polaroid photography this year. She has this whole uh, album of of things she's shot. She has really done a lot of good work. I'm gonna put some of that up as well. And she's found a lot of like creative outlet through that, which has been really cool to see. It's been nice seeing her like grow as an artist. Camilla and I both had kind of quiet years. Camilla took a break from chess in January and she just kind of lost interest in it. There's a sort of frustration that no matter how good you get, you're always going against people who are better, which, you know, is good and bad. She also got to see her girlfriend like four times this year, which she was very excited about. I mean, we got to see the Evergreens as a whole, so we were very excited about being able to see them 
several times this year. It's really difficult when one of your partners lives like 3,000 miles away. And she spent a lot of time continuing her duties and her, like, enjoyment of mothering some of the younger members of our system. She loves those kids. God, I feel like I lisp so much more than anyone else in the system. As for myself, I kind of took a decent-sized dormancy of, like, several months, <laughs> basically up until, like, a week ago, which was good for me, to be honest. I've spent too long being a main person. I needed a break. <laughs> Even if I'm not, like, the person anymore, it's still a lot to be out all the time. <laughs> but yeah, I took a break. I did some work on the inside with some system members who don't wish to be named at this time. But I've done a lot of work helping them calm down, helping them heal, helping them adjust to being awake again. And it's been rewarding work. You know, a couple of years ago, I didn't think I wanted to be a parent at all. And now I have two kids. That's weird but I like it. <laughs> and as with every year, I'm going to give out our system MVP award, and this year I'm going to be giving it to Oak. If anyone embodies the idea of most improved player, it is Oak. He went from constantly angry, depressed, lashing out all the time, not really wanting anything to do with anything, to being our fifth council member, being somebody who went to work for us, having his own hobbies, his own interests. He's working on a big video for the channel about one of his own interests. He also got a girlfriend and has just really enjoyed having another person in his life. And like, the boy is knitting socks for her. If you don't think that's change, I don't know what is. And he and I have worked on our relationship a lot and we're in like a really good place now. So yeah, that's basically the wrap up for our system for this year. Let's talk about the channel now. We lost our job a couple of months ago, which is a shitty thing to have to say twice in the lifespan of this channel. Subscribe to the Patreon, by the way, if you want to help us out there. But having all this time to be able to, like, completely dedicate to creative works, to bettering ourselves, our mental health, our relationships, it's really made us think about what we want to do with this channel going into the future. And listen, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say that, oh, this channel has always been so, like, education-focused, like, every single video. Like, no. We have a lot of, like, non-DID education-related stuff on here. I mean, Susan ranked all of the cats in Cats 2019, some Ellen cooking gardening videos. Our channel has always been primarily about living being plural and about like trying to normalize that. And over the last year, there have been a lot of times where we've thought of a video idea and we went, that's so far off from what we typically do on this channel. It's not even remotely mental health related. We shouldn't do that. And having those feelings of like, we shouldn't do this, or like, I wish we had a, a second channel that had the same following that we could do this on, it really feels so creatively stifling. So I know that we've been making whatever the hell we want anyway, but in 2023, we're going to be focusing a lot more on making whatever the hell we want with no excuses, no pretense that like, oh, this is tangentially about mental health or being like, this isn't the type of video we normally make for this channel, but this. I think one of the best things we can do going forward is just show that being plural is like a completely normal way of being, even more than we already are. And doing that is going to involve showing off people's special interests and showing off the creative projects that people want to do for the channel. For example, one of the first videos that we're doing next year is going to be a long video that Oak has been scripting where he watches every Beatles movie and a bunch of like documentaries and tangentially related Beatles stuff because that's something that he cares about a lot and something that was really essential in sculpting him as a person. But crucially, when we do this sort of thing, it's not going to be like, oh, we're Nameless Presenter or we're Alexandra presenting this. It's going to be whatever system member is doing it. We're not going to change that at all. We're still going to talk about being plural in these videos, probably, because it's something that happens to us constantly. And it's something that we kind of can't avoid talking about if we talk for long enough. And I know that our 
upload rate has slowed down over the past, I don't know, two years. But I like to think that the videos that we've been putting out and the things that we've been doing outside of the channel as well. We recently did a presentation for the Plural Association. I like to think that that content has gotten stronger because we're not feeling the need to just do it. You know, when we think of something that we want to talk about, like how parts language isn't neutral, Camilla talking about mothering our littles, that sort of thing means more and is more thought out and is better because it's not just one in a huge shuffle of things. There's part of me that really loved when we were putting out two videos a week, Monday and Thursday, every single week for like six to eight months. And that is where the vast majority of videos on our channel comes from. But I'll be honest when I say that a lot of times we made videos just to put out a video then, and the content of those was not always the best. <laughs> so hopefully in 2023, there will be more content, higher quality content, content that we really want to do, and I really hope you stick with us. You know, we have some good educational videos on this channel, but I've said for a while now, like, if you want DID education, you can go to the ring system, you can go to other channels, but if you want to see how plural people really live, you come here. So yeah, here's to 2023, here's to a new year, maybe a new look for this channel. Things change and I'm excited for that change. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, take a second to like the video, leave a comment, check us out on Patreon, on Twitter, check out Claudia's podcast if you're interested. It's a fun time. I hope you have a very happy and safe new year.